10 Most Famous Gods and Goddesses from Chinese Mythology China is often known as the Nation of Dragons, and this is enough to hint us towards the fact that their mythology would be highly interesting. Chinese mythology includes folklore, history, and religious beliefs for many time periods and people, including the present. Many of these myths are deeply intertwined with philosophy, religion, heritage, and culture. It is believed that their gods were in fact the emperors of the nation during the ancient times. They are also beautifully depicted in the mythical illustrations that have been passed on from one generation to the other. This gives us all the more reason to find out who were the most renowned deities from the Chinese mythology. And you'll find that out in this video. So make sure you stay till the end and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, without wasting another moment, let's begin. Number 10. Bixia Bixia is the Chinese goddess of fertility who guards babies and mothers. Sometimes associated with the dawn, she is also known as Her Majesty of the Blue Dawn or Queen of the Earth. During the Great Flood of China, when the Yellow River's flow was horrifically displaced from its usual route, Bixia was the goddess who restored the river's normal flow, saving the lives of many Chinese people. She is most commonly worshipped in northern China, and her identity is occasionally confused with that of Ziwang Mu. Number 9. Chengye Chengye is the Chinese moon goddess. Her name means beautiful young woman, and she is represented as a charming young girl wearing exquisite hair accessories and long flowing robes while carrying an elegant white rabbit. She is involved in a variety of myths, but she is best known for stealing the elixir of immortality from her husband, the renowned archer Hu Yi. In some versions, she is forced to swallow the elixir when her husband's protege attempts to take it. In others, she is depicted as a greedy lady who stole the elixir for selfish reasons. In all stories, however, she swallows the elixir, turns immortal, and escapes to the moon. Number 8. Kai Shen Kai Shen is the Chinese deity of gold and riches, and he is particularly worshipped during the Chinese New Year in order to bless fortune to the people. His name literally means God of Wealth, and he's often pictured sitting atop a stunning black tiger. It is also believed that he carries a tool capable of transforming common stone and iron into gold. Bai Gan was perhaps the most prominent historical figure who was believed to be the mortal embodiment of Kai Shen. The king desired supremacy and contended with Bai Gan, eventually ordering his soldiers to execute him. Following this, Bai Gan's wife and son were able to flee into the woods, but he wasn't quite as fortunate and died at the hands of the king but sentencing him to death turned out to be King Zhao's downfall and his Shang dynasty collapsed shortly after. Number 7. Nuwa According to Chinese mythology, Nuwa is the first being with the ability to reproduce and the creator of all mankind. Because the ancient Chinese society was predominantly matriarchal, Nuwa, as the mother of all beings, was honored as a powerful deity. She is mentioned in several myths, but is most generally associated with China's story of creation and the story of her preserving humanity by filling a hole in the sky after the catastrophic flood. Nuwa is still a prominent goddess today. She is frequently depicted as a supernatural creature with a human face and a long serpentine body, although she is also sometimes drawn as a woman clothed in traditional Chinese hanfu. Number 6. Neza Neza is a Chinese god considered the patron saint of teenagers. He was born with incredible strength and the ability to speak after having developed in his mother's womb for three years and six months. His myth is quite similar to that of the Hindu deity Nala Kuvara. He is frequently depicted as a teen with his hair tied in a warrior's bun and holding a big spear in his hand with the wind fire wheels on his feet. His famous myth talks about how he mistakenly kills the Drago king's son who then demands his death in return as just a punishment. Accepting this, Neza commits suicide. Number 5. Guan Yin Guan Yin is the Chinese deity of compassion and kindness. She is believed to be all-seeing and all-hearing and is known for her immense generosity and offering protection to people in need. Her name means one who hears the music of the world. Her traditional attire consists of a flowing white robe and jade bracelets, and this has a lot to do with the fact that white and jade are both associated with purity in Chinese culture. 
she is frequently depicted holding a vase of water in one hand and a willow branch in the other, resting on a lotus flower or on the clouds. Number 4. Long Wang According to Chinese mythology, there are five dragon kings. Four are Long Wang siblings who reign over the four seas, and the fifth is Long Wang who reigns over them. Long Wang is a Chinese guardian god that reigns over the oceans, seas, weather, and all other dragons. He can be viciously aggressive, but he also symbolizes good luck. He is considered to be a powerful and independent god, and the only one who can command him is the supreme god of China, who is the number one on our list. He has two forms. In his first form, he wears extravagant imperial robes and has flaming red skin to symbolize his wrath, while in the other, he is often represented in the Chinese dragon style with a serpentine body, pointed horns, a hair-like beard, and enormous claws. Number 3. Yan Wang In Chinese mythology, Yan Wang is considered to be the king of hell. He controls all other kings of the underworld and chooses the punishments the deceased must experience before being reincarnated. So it comes as no surprise that he is one of the most feared deities in the Chinese beliefs. It is believed that the idea of Yan Wang has developed from the myth of Yamraja from the Indian mythology. He is depicted to have large, bulging eyes, a deep red complexion, a serious look, and a long black beard. He is often represented as wearing traditional Chinese robes and a judge's cap with the word king engraved on it. Number 2. Wang Mu Niang Niang Wang Mu Niang Niang, also known as Zi Wang Mu, is a powerful Chinese goddess who is married to the Jade Emperor and takes care of the peaches of immortality. She was originally a demonic character who repented and attained enlightenment, and she now rules over life and death. Her name translates to Queen Mother of the West. She is said to resemble a human woman, but with tiger teeth and leopard's tail. She is also frequently pictured wearing a headpiece to cover her wild, untamed hair. Number 1. Yu Hong Shangdi And now we talk about the supreme deity from the Chinese mythology. Yu Hang Shangdi, also known as the Jade Emperor, is one of the most important and popular deities in Chinese mythology. He is regarded as the ruler of heaven, one of the highest ranked gods, and the first Chinese emperor. There are several myths that claim the Jade ruler was human before ascending to godhood having the embodiment of a soldier or an actual emperor. Another famous myth to his name is that he called all the animals on the planet to his palace, and those who came were assigned a reflection in the Chinese zodiac. He is worshipped in China even today, and especially during the Chinese New Year. So, these were the most renowned gods from the Chinese mythology. We hope you enjoy our coverage. Make sure you like and subscribe so you stay alerted to our future uploads. We'll see you next time with another exciting mythical video. Until then, goodbye.